welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today we're going to be going over uh, how to build a trap account. Uh, basically, question or questions that people might have about trap accounts, what they need to do, what talents, what gear, uh, what troop comp, um, all those kind of questions, how to cap people, because uh, people seem to be a little confused about traps, always have lots of questions for me. So this, this video is going to basically go over those um, and answer a lot of the questions that people might have. So... The first question I get is, what kind of troops do I need? Um, so for that, you kind of have to ask yourself, who are you trying to trap? Are you trying to trap mythic champion guys? Are you trying to trap just regular tier 4 players or just like regular max tier 4 players? So um, going to that, it's a little different. So for my trap account, I'm basically trying to cap the strongest player that I possibly can. Um, does that mean I'll be able to trap them? Maybe not, because that Gao guy apparently has <laughs> crazy stats. Like, something like 700% army HP, so I'm not even sure if I can cap him, but like a regular mythic champ guy, um, I can cap them if I have everything set up properly. I have my gear on and um, talents and all that stuff. With this troop comp, can usually cap a uh, mythic champ. So, this is basically post my previous video where I uh, redid my trap account. Um, this was just to uh, switch it up so I could um, run two phalanxes. So, um, the basis behind this is you kind of look at it um, and troop equivalent. So I always do the troop equivalent as one tier one is basically, or one tier two is two tier ones. So um, you don't need tier three in your trap account. So these uh, tier three uh, Royal Guards, Cell Snipers, Royal Cav, you do not need those. Um, this is just for attacking, which I do a lot actually. Uh, so if, you, if, you, if you're not planning to attack on your uh, trap account, don't build tier, tier 3, they're useless. Do not have tier 3 on your crap account. They're useless might. Um, they do not make you stronger at all. So just stick with tier 1 and tier 2. Um, you don't have to go exactly what my comp is. My comp is like max trap. Max solo trap, basically. Um, like anything past this, you're starting to get into rally trap range and all that. So this is kind of like maxed solo trap. If you're trying to just trap regular tier 4 players, you don't need this many troops. You don't need the same stats as I do or anything like that. So you don't actually need to follow any of this. But the basis behind my comp right now is I have a tier 2 uh, or tier two front line. So I have a infantry front line and a cav front line. So I can switch between the two phalanxes. I'll uh, show you that. Um... You can technically unlock range Phalanx if you want, uh, but that's just basically if you um, are going against weaker players and you're like, you don't want to, uh, or yeah, I, I don't know. You could also go three uh, tier two front lines you want, but you'd be much higher might. So I, I, I kept the range or, well, I didn't really keep them. I, I ended up having just range with uh, tier one, so uh, I didn't get a Phalanx for that, but I could technically unlock it for... I don't think it's very much might to unlock tier... What, what tier is it? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> so it's... Uh, it's Where is it? Military Command? No, that's Breakthrough. Uh, that's for Mythic. Uh, yeah, so range Phalanx. You're looking at another 70,000 might, so I technically could do that. It's, it's not very much might, especially at a max max trap like this. Like y Your might isn't too... like. Most people, like mythic champion guys, they're gonna look at. They're not gonna look at you if you're like 90 million, 8 million, 80 million, 110 million. You're all basically soloable at that point. Uh, most people will solo anyone under 150 million if you're that strong. If you are like a solo person, some people don't solo anyone, so um, that's the difference. So yeah, so looking at my troops again. Um, so my gladiators, I got about what's that? Four, four point two million tier one equivalent. Um. Because you basically just double that to get the tier 1 equivalent, plus the uh, 150,000 runs. That's basically just to reduce, uh, basically, uh, speed ups. So, because tier 1 heal instantly, so that's the good thing about them. But you don't want too many tier 1 in your front line, because if, let's say, uh, like I say, a mythic champ guy came in and hit you, you uh, want the uh, tier 2 in the front line, just so it, it doesn't quite fill up your infirmaries, you don't end up losing troops. Um, lower guys, I have them in there just so it reduces speed ups, so that's the reason for that. Um, if let's go, let's go back to um, how many troops you need to just cap a regular tier four player. So most tier four players, let's say if they send a three hundred seventy five thousand, this I'm talking like low tier four players. Like if you have eight million troops and around one hundred eighty percent to two hundred percent attack, that will usually cap a three seventy five k. Um, this is smaller tier four players. I'm talking new tier four players. They might have three hundred percent attack. Um, they're not gonna have a lot of army HP. And then if you start stepping it up, let's say you're going into the 
regular experienced tier four players, they're running like 500 to 600 percent attack. Let's say that range. Um, you probably want around, let's say about 12 million troops. Um, tier one equivalent, I'm saying. So I'm all talking tier one. So 12 million tier one will probably cap a regular um, guy there. Um, with mythic and all that, like. This, this is five to six hundred percent attack I'm talking about if you're over seven hundred percent attack you're probably looking 14 million plus troops at that point and this depends on gear as well so like I said um, you're gonna have to test it out yourself so I, I can't tell you the exact number that's gonna cap this exact person um, I found this out by by basically testing it and then changing my troop comp and then testing it and it, it depends on your stats too because I mean if you have like 400 percent attack you're gonna need way less troops than if you had let's say 200 percent attack because um, there's going to be a huge difference or a huge cap, um, basically a huge gap in between that. So, um, so that's kind of what you've got to look at, got to look at, you got to look at your stats and then your troop comp. I'm just giving you kind of a basis kind of thing. And then let's say, like I said, the cap, like mythic champion guys, you want really good stats. So I'm running around three forty ish for attack stats. And then what my troop comp right now, I have tier one equivalent. I don't know. What is it? Five, 11, like around 16 million tier one equivalent right now um and that and that that will cap a mythic uh mythic champ attack like say i don't know where's this guy i don't know if i've shown this in a video no i haven't shown this though so this guy was a mythic champion guy um he had 311k heroes and he did like 200,000 damage and i capped him really easily um but yeah, I <laughs> this is right after my rebuild, so I know infirmary. So that's why I lost eighty four thousand. Um, it's because yeah, having less than two hundred thousand infirmaries, and I was taking a mythic champ guy. Um, I think I guess I was a little confident on that one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that's kind of what this. I mean, with this troop comp, you you cap people with six hundred percent attack without your leader sort of thing. So that's that's my thousand IQ trap a lot. Um, but yeah, so um, that was the troops. Um, if you're going to look at heroes, so heroes, your wall heroes. So looking at this, you have basically five slots. Um, what I did was I built two of each hero. So if, basically, if you're free to play, the five heroes you want is Oathkeeper, Snow Queen, uh, Child of Light, Bombing Goblin, Demon Slayer, and Rose Knight. Um, you can change Child of Light for, uh, where is he, Night Raven, I believe. No, don't do that. Um... Don't go, don't, don't go Night Raven. Uh, the reason why is the army HP is much better than the army defense. So Child of Light has cav HP and cav attack. Um, Rose Knight has cav HP and army attack, which is awesome. Um, Bobbing Goblin is just range attack. I mean, it has trap attack, but you don't usually, your wall is useless as a solo trap. Don't bother unless you're making a wall trap. That's totally different. Um, so the army attack and the Bobbing Goblin. Um, Demon Slayer is infantry HP and infantry attack. Um, same thing with Oathkeeper, infantry HP, infantry attack, and then Snow Queen is range HP and range attack. I mean, if you don't have a uh, a range front line, it doesn't matter for the range HP as much. Um, you can technically go anyone else, like range attack, range defense, that's okay if you want tracker instead. Um, but if you go range front line, if you want to go all three phalanxes, stick with HP and attack. So pick the heroes that have HP and attack, don't do HP and defense because they're not good. Um, I just stick with six of them just for might reasons. Um, I, I got my tricks strict <coughs> trickster up when I was early. This is before I started building a trap. You don't need to build trickster up. Um, it is actually good for, tr for trapping actually, cause you can use a fake hero as a, a purple trickster or whatever and make it look like you're a noob. I do that all the time. Actually, it really makes it look like you're a newer person and you're not a trap. Um, unless some people think that since you have trickster, you're a trap. I don't know. It's anyway, so that's, that's different. Um, I am level 25 castle. You, there's different traps. There's baby traps. Like my my baby trap, I can do a overview on that. And I'll show you kind of a lower trap that can cap tier 4. Um, but uh, there's always in between. So if you're looking at stats, you can always just basically assume once you hit around the 12 million troop mark that you're okay to trap people. Um, you can go even. Uh, I think I'm a little higher on range and cav right now. But you can technically just go even for your troops. So whatever, like uh, 4 million of each will usually be okay as long as your stats are even. Um, obviously, if you have like, let's say, 350% range attack and like 200% cab attack, you probably want more range because they're going to be your main damage. So 
kind of look at that your stats too. So we'll actually go over gear and kind of sh show you what gear you should be looking at too. Um, so I'll go into here. So um, as a starting out trap, you're probably not going to be level 60. So you want to look at gear that's pre-level 60. That's really good. And actually most of this gear I have is very good for pre-level 60. Um, if you're below level 55, uh, you might want to change out the, uh, what's called the, the body here. Um, so let's say a pre-level 55 gear, what you're looking for. You're looking for a Fiery Tomahawk. It's very easy to build. It's free to play. Um, you don't have to go Mythic. You can just be a Gold. It's very good. Um, Lunar Scimitar is the other one that's really good. It gives you the uh, range attack and army HP. Obviously at Mythic, it's actually really good. It gives you 16% army HP. And uh, what's it called? Uh, I think it's 11% range attack. So that's really good. And then obviously the rings, you're looking at something like a Lost Islands Relic. Um, it's very good. It gives uh, range and infantry attack and army HP, which is really good overall. Obviously Mythic is good as well. And I'll kind of go over exactly why. And then Burning Scroll is okay once you hit level 55. It gives army HP and army attack. Um, and this also depends if you're going free to play or if you're just going to stay as a pay to play. So obviously your gear is going to be much better as a pay to play where your gear is kind of lacking as free to play. So you want to kind of focus on the jewels because jewels are the easiest way to get your stats up. And that's where you want to be using all your coins on early on is getting those jewel chests. Don't spend them on anything else. Jewel chests or migration scrolls are the only thing you should ever be spending your coins on as a trap account. Um, and then the uh, legs here, honeycomb chaps. Definitely go for honeycomb chaps. They're easy to get. Um, you just basically attack monsters and you can get them. I could actually get this up the, what's called, uh, mythic at one point because it gives 16.8% attack on both, which is amazing. Um, it just doesn't give the HP. That's the only drawback on that. But obviously the embers are the hard thing to get, especially since I've built so many free-to-play uh, uh, mythic things so far. Um, I have, I'm, I'm out of embers. I can't get any more until I get like, uh, let's say Lord's Cup gives you embers and you get embers just through like guild fest and stuff. But as free play, it's much harder to get. Um, pay to play, obviously, that's totally different. You can go get those and buy chests or things. So um, building a trap free to play is much harder. Um, so for, for the body, um, which you probably want to do, which I don't have here, I'll show you. Um, where is it? Here go to oops that's the wrong one. armor here we go so for armor um pre-level 60 i mean technically you go with the hardened carapace with our head hedonic caress i think it's hedonic i don't know anyways um winter park is okay but like level 40 stuff we're looking at you probably want to go grimy plate because um if you're down there you're probably still on the infantry phalanx um, if you're only infantry phalanx, grinding plate's really good. It gives infantry attack and infantry HP. So if you're only infantry phalanx, infantry HP is as good as army HP because you're not going to be taking hits on any of your other things. So um, that really helps. Oh, why am I looking at mythic? You're probably not going mythic right away. But anyways, so like a gold grimy plate has 8% army HP or 9% infantry HP, which is basically army HP if you don't have phalanx. And then 8% infantry attack. So it's pretty good. The other one is Armor of the Abyss, where it gives you army attack, is obviously really good. Um, cav HP, if you have a cav front line, is pretty good. And then infantry defense, which is okay, because defense is always not as good as HP, but it's better than nothing. Um, so those are your two options, pre-level 60 and then, or pre-level 55, I guess. Once you hit 55, um, obviously the hedonic caress is way better, but uh, getting those... Uh, those uh, halos are very hard to get. I like, like I said, this is basically all the halos I've ever gotten, and I've played a year and a half. So <laughs> that's uh, not very good, apparently, because um, I haven't built anything else with that. Um, Hardy Carapace is obviously the Bee Venoms. Uh, I've got lots more of those. I've just been really lucky on Bee Venoms. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so, and then once you get level 60, Firewall Plate is obviously a good option, and then Terror Shield is obviously good. Um, and then pre, pre level 60 helmet, you're probably looking at the, uh, where is it? Indulgent visage here. So a, you, yeah, indulgent visage gives a uh, 10% infantry and range attack. So, um, so basically that's it. And then I'll go post post level 60. You're looking at stuff like, um, cups, if you can get them, 
um, champion gear, which is obviously really expensive. So you probably won't be getting going, going for those unless you're heavy pay to play. Burning Scroll is always a good option just because the army HP and army HP or army attack and army HP are good. Um, you get the Terra Vials and Fear Drums, but they're about on par with the free to play rings because um, at gold here, you're looking at about 16% infantry attack and then 5% infantry HP, um, which is good if you're going, um, as I said, infantry phalanx, but if you're going mix, then basically you have to kind of get a mix between the terror vials and the fear drums, and you're looking at like you get 16% total attack on the terror vial and the 16% on the fear drum, and then 5% HP. But if you go down to your uh, Lost Silent Relics, I know you only get six and six, but it's very easy to get mythic. So mythic would give you almost 16.5% total attack. Um, when I say total attack, because in one slot you get 16% attack. Um, I know it's split up between infantry and range, but if you go up to here, I mean, you probably won't be getting mythic, um, terror vials and fear drums if you're free to play. Um, so you might be, you might be able to get a gold, but yeah, you only get 60% total attack per slot for the terror vial and same thing, fear drum. So it's the same thing. So it's, it's actually much cheaper to use the rush, lost time relics. And we also get army HP. So at Mythic, you're getting like 7% army HP total between two rings, and that, or 3.5% per, and then let's say you're getting 16.5% for uh, total attack here, so both, it's like 32, so it's, it's the same thing as basically these two. Um, obviously, once you get up here, it's much better, but that's only if you can afford that, and that's hard. Uh, Blade Rings are okay, um, uh, but because they give the very high army HP, but the attack is much lower, or it is not much lower, but it is lower. It's only 14% total per thing, but you get army HP, army defense, so your defense is higher, but your attack would be lower. But I always go for attack, because if you're trying to cap someone, attack's always better than HP, because especially if you have, like, maxed um, infirmaries, it doesn't really matter, because they probably won't get through if you're killing all the troops fast enough. So that's kind of the offhand. Obviously, for the offhand at level 60... Codex is a good option, and Winter Mists are okay. Um, I still like the Mythic Scimitar because it gives more range attack. Uh, it will give less HP, but it gives still a lot, 16%. And if you're free to play, you're probably getting Gold Winter Mists very easily, unless you're really lucky with drops. Um, Codex, on the other hand, is pretty good once you get to it, but a blue Codex is pretty good at that point. I can only build a green one right now, but um, yeah, that's, that's kind of your option. Or the Mythic Scimitar is the other one. Main hand, Frostwing Sword's always good, but you probably want a purple before it gets better than, let's say, your, uh, I think Mythic Scimitar is actually, I'll show you the stats of the Mythic Scimitar and, sh and show you why it's really good. So, Mythic Scimitar, you're looking at about 14% cav H attack, 9% infantry, and 5% range-ish. Whereas the purple Scimitar is 12, 12, and 8, so it's very actually close between a Mythic Scimitar and a uh, purple frostwing sword, but the gold, the the blue one is not as good as mythic. So mythic scimitar. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Skull crusher is also a good option if you're really lucky on the uh, what's called uh, brain drops here, hell riders. Um, but yeah, see a blue skull crusher is really good, but obviously you got to get lucky on drops for that. Um, those are kind of your options for that. I can guess you can go decadent sword, but I'd use the the halos and something else. Kraken's anchor is also another. Another option, but that they're really hard to get because um, the pearls are very, very hard to get. Um, then we'll go boots. The options for boots, I would say, are basically, I mean, I guess if you're low in uh, cav attack, you can go Gargantian, Gargantian Belt, but I prefer just basically uh, either Dragon Talons or Storm Tassets are your two main options there. And then obviously the Honeycomb Chaps are really good free to play thing because I mean, 12 and 12 at gold is, and it's really easy to get these things. Um, then, yeah, Mythic is the other option, but you need the uh, the Embers to actually get those. Um, so, yeah, so I think I already went over the chest piece. So, Terror Shield, Firewall Plate are your kind of like level 60 options. And then Hardened Carapace and Hedonic Curus are good too. Um, they're, they're fairly comparable to the uh, level 60 stuff minus the HP that you get. But, I mean, well, that's not true. Hedonic Curus is... <laughs> really good but like i said the uh the halos are are very hard to get so you kind of gotta decide where you want to use them don't split them up it's better to just go for one and then pick something else otherwise and then helmets your two options are basically 
Beast Helm and Bumblebee Helm, and then the other one was your Indulgent Visage, because that's your kind of quote-unquote free-to-play item. Um, so yeah, so then these are your level, two, level 60 options at that point, so... Um, yeah, so you can go over those. Um, jewels is probably one of the most important things you're looking at because people can't see the jewels in your gear. You can get, you can get quick swap that will uh, basically make it so that you can sw switch your gear so people don't see your gear. But a lot of times I just leave my gear on because it's not super intimidating because they don't see my jewels. Um, like if you look at this, I mean, sure, it's mythic, but it's free to play stuff. So it's not always like, oh, he's got amazing gear. But if you look at the stats of my gear, it's, it's really high because just the jewels I have. I got all purple jewels, and that's just because I've played a year and a half. Um, you, if you haven't been playing that long, you probably don't have the jewels. Um, so, like I said, you kind of got to switch it up based on that. So, I know it's complicated, but uh, <laughs> but that's kind of how it goes. Um, the other thing was familiars. The reason I got the uh, familiars was just for this, the, uh, the refresh. So, I got the elder on the Aquarius, which gives me free speed ups every day. It also gives me energy to get my heroes up to gold really quickly. Because um, I think people have been commenting on my 10-minute speed-ups. Um, that's basically just because I do... Uh, basically, I go in here, and with my all the energy I get, I just basically do this one. It gives me 10-minute speed-ups for 6 stamina, and I get tons of them. So, uh, yeah, because I you want to look at... Uh, let's see, where is it? If you go into trophies so yeah so something like this i get like i got like 4500 of these trophies now just from doing that one thing over and over again um yeah i wonder how much i can sell this for yeah i can get like 2.4 million gold from that if i wanted to sell that um yeah so heroes i've gone over gone over my gear research is probably the next thing you want to know so research there's a couple options um you can go max like i am um and that's tens on offense nines and everything else including army hp um but, or you could just stop at eight for the armies and go nines for your uh basically everything else that'll save you like 10 million uh i think it's like 10 million or something research or something like that but then your stats are much lower so you gotta really rely on better gear and like i said if you're not gonna be spending a lot of money you probably won't get the better gear, so it's better to actually get the attack up and be a little higher might than not, unless you're not trying to cap max players. And if you're just trying to cap regular tier 4 players, then you keep everything lower. So you got to decide what you want to do. you got to decide if you want to cap max players or you're looking to just cap regular tier 4 players or lower tier 4 players. It really depends what kind of ki what kingdom you want to be in. If you want to be in a really big kingdom, you want to be higher stats. If you want to be in lower kingdom, you could be lower might and lower stats. So that's kind of what you got want to look at. So Or in, in, you can always just adjust it as you go through your kind of thing and if you decide maybe i want to do this maybe just start off lower and then work your way up and then take smaller hits and then work your way up that's kind of how i suggest it <laughs> don't try and cap the mythic champion guy right off the start just go with the lower guys and see how it goes if it doesn't go well change a couple things and keep going up until you actually get to where you want to be um that's that's my main suggestion so and then yeah so your setup is probably just mostly infirmaries. If you're building troops, you want to have more manners, but I've been switching that. You probably don't really need two of these. Um, if you're building troops, you probably want to go like three barrackses and the rest. Uh, and, well, if you're building tier two, you want to go three barracks and the rest manners. If you're building tier one, you want to go four barracks and the rest manners, just just to be mo the most efficient. Uh, is there anything else I needed to go over? Gear, I guess, if you want to level 20... Per if you want to max anything, max your prison because that will give you an extra thirty percent attack. That's kind of that's the other thing. Um, yeah, I went over troops. I went over uh, gear, research. Yeah, research, economy. You don't need anything. Defense, nothing at all. Monster hunt. I'd go up to about level two. That's where I am. Um, upgrade defense is nothing. Upgrade military. That is where you get your quick swap. So you can either get one quick swap, which I use sometimes. Um, I don't haven't got two quick swaps. You could get two quick swaps. Um, I suggest if you have really good gear to get two quick swaps. If you have crappy gear, it's probably not as important because people are going to look at that and be like, eh, it's, I'm not going to not hit them because that crappy gear. Uh, but if you have really good gear, get two quick swaps for sure because you don't want to pe show people your like 
your like gold level 60 stuff or whatever <laughs> because they probably won't hit you um, but if you're running like a bunch of like crappy free to play stuff they'll probably hit you anyways because it's, it's not really scary uh so that, that's up to you that's a that's a total like um that's 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 well it's something you got to find out because if you find it people aren't hitting you because your gear then you probably want two quick swaps um if because you can always just stay in one gear and then quick swap to the uh the other stuff if you want to like act offline or whatever i mean whatever it's it's up to you i have one just so i can get into my war gear very quickly um army leadership what's military command Okay, military commands for breakthrough. So if you want to get breakthrough, that's the only thing. You'd be going through military command, army leadership, phalanx. So that's all you need there. If you want to go phalanx, army leadership. If not, ignore army leadership. If you don't want mythic gear, ignore military command. Upgrade military for quick swaps. Um, military is just for your military. Defense, ignore it. Economy is just for construction speed, nothing else. And then monster hunter... You might want to get up level two. I won't go too high because Monster Hunter can give a lot of might, so it's not really useful, but um, hitting level two is going to be useful as well. So that's basically my suggestion for that. And, yep, yeah, so I think that's it, actually. Um, so that's kind of the overview. Troop comp is based on your stats and who you're trying to cap, like I said. Anywhere from 8 million to 16 million troops, equivalent to your one. Um... Like I said, you can go tier two, but I just account to tier one as two tier or tier two is two tier ones, so um, that's how I kind of count it that way. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. Kind of kind of play around with that. If you want to cap just tier three players, you obviously need way less troops. Uh, but for tier four, four players, eight million to sixteen million troops is where you want to be based on stats, and then just basically start low and go high. That's that's my only suggestion. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, just put them in the chat down below. I'll be uh, happy to answer them um and if not that's it i'll see you guys next time oh yeah one last thing actually because people always ask about it um yes i do have my first purchase bonus still on this count i've showed this in other videos but people just keep forgetting or don't actually watch all their videos and keep asking oh there's no way you're free to play yes i'm free to play um and then i guess i've, I've shown this in previous things but these are the jewels i have in my gear right now so so it's mostly just all purple. And this is for playing for a year and a half and spending all my gem or all my guild coins on uh, it's called uh, jewel chests. Um, if you're unlucky, um, you might not get uh, get as well. But yeah, I've got basically full purples almost. I'm, I'm still missing a couple uh, blues, but that's like only like three. And I'm actually almost there. So thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.